Good morning, grade nines. I hope everyone is well rested from yesterday. And I'm back here again with our natural sciences. I'm still your host, Kolesan Mbata, and those are my Twitter and Instagram handles. Please continue the conversation after class. Uh, without any waste of time, let's see. Uh, today, what are we going to look at? Uh, today, we are going to look at the following. Uh, you learn the following factors that affect resistance. We already know what is resistance. We already know uh, what to call type of resistors, uh, obviously, that have the different effects on the destination of the current. Uh, remember yesterday, we discussed uh, the, 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 the LDR, we uh, discussed the LED, we discussed what is a rheostat and then we finally discussed what is a resistor as a whole so today grade nines what i want us to look at uh, it will be the factors that affect resistance in a second and also how to collect data so now you uh, as i've been saying to you that you actually know how to calculate the the amount of current that is uh, flowing through their uh, conductors uh, by now everybody know what is a conductor um grade nines who wants to assist me in doing these corrections we don't have much of a homework but amra raised her hand uh, let's go open your mic amra and we do corrections morning, good morning sir. amra how are you okay you sir i'm good um so yesterday, you just need to write one word for the following statements. What do we call yes. a special electric component that controls the flow of electric current? A diode. A special electric component that controls the flow of electric current. So isn't it a diode? No. A resistor? No. Last check <laughs> before I tell yeah. you. A conductor. Oh. It's a conductor. It's a conductor. It directs the special component that controls the flow of electric current. So it's a conductor. So, but isn't diodes a special electric components that control the flow of electric current? A diode? Yes, sir. What is the definition of a diode from yesterday's notes? It's a special electric component that controls the flow of electric current. So we can also conclude that a diode is um, a conductor. Oh, yes. obviously it conducts the, okay. Oh, a special, a special, a special, okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Amra. But I will take a conductor as well. Whoever wrote a conductor, I'll take it, let's say a diode or a conductor, a conductor. Um, I want us to look at number two, Amra. Uh, what is number two saying to you? Say something that um, something used to automatically switch the lights outside a house on or off as it gets darker or lighter. LDR stands for um, light dependent resistor. LDR, which is also a light dependent. Where do we use it? Where do we normally say it? Light dependent. Um, on the the outside poles. houses? Yes, on the street poles, light, light yeah. dependent resistor. Then uh, let me highlight it so that if anyone goes on to the slides after class, can be able to see the answers. Then let's continue, Amra. Um, C says to you, uh, something that is responsible for the functioning of the volume in a radio. A rheostat. Thank you very much. It is a rheostat. We did this yesterday. Those yes. who were in class yesterday, they saw us doing this. Um, then they say to you, uh, something that can be identified by strips of brown or blue inside an electrical device. So is it live or neutral wires? Yes. You said it is? Live or neutral wires? Yes, live or neutral wires. Mm. 
Then um, E says uh, something responsible for functioning of traffic lights. So LSD is light sensitive diodes. LSD, uh, light sensitive diode. Yeah. Uh, or LED, right? Remember we spoke of LED that the light emitting diode also give uh, what you call light. In fact, for, 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 for traffic lights, yesterday I said LEDs. If you go there, um, let me read for you on yesterday's notes, grade nine. Why is it LEDs? Yesterday's we said LED, um, I can't see my notes. Okay, there we go. The traffic lights work on LEDs. So an LED converts electrical energy into a light energy. So the correct answer there is LED. The light emitting diode is the one that works on um works on uh, traffic, what you call lights. traffic lights. Yes. So it's a light emitting diode. LED oh. stands for light emitting diode. So they are the ones that actually uh, works on traffic lights because they give us that light. And remember that they are actually sensitive to temperature because I uh, then remember that I said it takes about um, a minute for a traffic light to change from uh, one color to another. Then it's because of they reach a certain temperature that the LED is sensitive to and then it changes to a certain color. Uh, oh. It is abbreviated as LDR. What is it? Light dependent resistor. Light dependent dependent uh, resistor resistor. Quick nine. Uh, before Amra goes, anyone with questions concerning our yesterday's uh, question uh, uh, homework? Anyone with a question? Uh, Amra. Yes, sir. No one has a question. I will actually, um, thank you, sir. yes, thank you. Don't go away. And then thank you so much. I uh, appreciate. Let's yeah. continue with our today's lesson, grade nines. So today, grade nines, as I've said, we are looking at factors that affect, um, factors that affect resistance. So what is it that affects resistance? We looked at a few yesterday and then, but, um, what exactly affects resistance grade nine is that different factors affect amount of resistance that a specific uh, resistor offers. So let us focus on the uh, on these uh, the following four on these following four factors. Grade nine, if they say to you uh, name uh, the factors that affect resistor, you would be looking at the following. You will be looking at the following grade nine. Uh, I want you the type of material. So the type of material, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about the different materials that offer different amount of resistance to the flow of electric current. So there's different material that can be used as conductors, uh, as conductors, grade nines. Remember we said that for current, to move from the cell. Remember that we said from the cell, energy is stored as potential energy. Once it starts moving, it, is, it converts to kinetic energy. So that kinetic energy can travel through different material of conductors, through different material of conductors. And number one, the fact that affects the flow of current is the type of material. You write type of material, one, affect them, the flow of current. Remember that good electrical conductors offer low resistance to the flow of charge. So if it's a good electrical uh, conductor, the material will offer less, will offer less resistance or low resistance to the flow of charges. So we don't want a material that will make it hard for current to flow through. Remember that we have um, good electricity conductors. So they're the ones that we use in most of our, um, our what you call, in most of our appliances. Yesterday, uh, we spoke of, um, the, the, the different um, resistors. We talk, We spoke of the element in a kettle, we spoke of the filament in a test tube and all those things where they 
the, the electricity goes to. I even made an example about cord, that electric cords are not the same. If you're looking at your charger, uh, the, 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 the charger cord and the kettle cord, you will see that those are, are different. Those are different. And then um, let us look at this, the material again. They say to you, silver, copper, and gold are the best electric conductors, are the best electrical conductors. Silver, copper, and gold are the best electrical conductors. But uh, if you were to think about it, Greek nine, the why don't we use gold to actually in every uh, other part to, 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 to conduct electricity, let's say from our substation to our houses. We all know that we are using copper because copper is not that expensive as compared to gold and silver. But what ends up happening is that because they are expensive, these things, they end up stealing them. That's why we get to have load shading. We, that's why we, we get to see here things like, oh, they stole a cable. That's why we don't have electricity supply because of this material is expensive. Why don't we use other materials? Because they are not good electricity air conductors. So those will be other effects. Then if the, someone wants to say on skills forecast, your teacher asks you, why don't we use silver or copper or gold in every other thing? And then you will say, it's because they are expensive. But we use copper for conducting wires because it is not as expensive as silver or gold. I have already uh, mentioned that grade nines. I want us to continue. Um, so, we're looking at the types of materials. And then look at this. Semiconductors are substances. Uh, is a substance that conducts electric current under certain conditions. So semiconductors, we've got things that are semiconductors. They are not conductors. So they conduct electricity under current uh, certain conditions. You know? They're not always good conductors as the previous ones that I had mentioned before. I said the good uh, material to conduct electricity is silver, gold and copper, but we use copper because it is the least, uh, it is the least co expensive as compared to gold and silver. But it doesn't mean that we don't use um, gold and silver. As the lesson continues, grade nines, you will see that we do use silver in certain, uh, silver and gold in other appliances. But you know what's going to happen? If we're using gold and silver, that means those, uh, appliances uh, or those gadgets will be expensive because of the material that is used. And then now I've introduced you to a new term, which is semiconductor. Then when does semiconductor uh, control electricity or conduct electricity? It is when uh, it, under, it is under certain uh, conditions. And then I also want us to look at um, insulator. An insulator is a substance that does not allow electric current to flow through it because now once these conductors that are, 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 are transporting current they touch then they will obviously cause an electric uh, shock there and then you will have an explosion save moment there and then uh, the wires might be damaged that's why we have to co cover our copper with plastic with plastic and then uh, so that uh, it's a rubber or plastic so that it doesn't allow current to touch with other current from other transport that's why we are covering that great nines and then they say number two we've looked at the material and then the earth also affects the rate of at which the current is uh, obviously flowing. What are we talking about now? We are talking about the land. Yes, someone has raised their hand. What is the question? I see two people have raised their hands. Talk to me. The third one is also raising their hand. Yes. Any questions, Greg Nine? No one is talking. Okay. Let me continue great names. Uh, let us look at number two now. Number one, we said um, 
we talk about uh, that factors that are affecting um, resistance. Number one, we said uh, it will be a type of material. Then now, number two, we are looking at the length of uh, the conductor. Let's make it. Uh, let's make an example about the length. Suppose you are running along uh, along a, a, a road. You know, you are running. You are taking your 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 your, your jog. Then the further you run, the more tired you will get. If you are running long distance, you are not going to finish the race with the same energy that you began with. So same applies to the length when you are transporting or when you, the, 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 the conductor is conducting the current. What happens is that electric charges need more energy Electric charges need more energy to further the further they move. So electric charges need more energy the further they move. So charges need more energy to move through a, lo a, a longer wire than through a shorter one. So that's how uh, that's how the length affects the flow of electric uh, current. So what happens is that the longer the resistor, uh, the, the longer the resistor uh, connected in an electric circuit, the higher the resistance of the circuit. So if the resistance is high, and then that means it will also affect the flow of current through it, grade nines. So in, 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 as I was saying that, if you're running a long distance, you will obviously get more tired the further you go. So in almost the same way, the electric charges need that energy as they go. That's why to those of you who have parents who run a marathon, you might have actually observed that you will have water points along the road where you get sweets, you get coke, you get everything to actually say, we are now re-adding or we are recharging you to, to be able to finish uh, what you call the, um, the race. Same applies with the current. When that's why we say the length of a conductor also affects uh, what you call also affects the, um, the the flow of current. The further the current needs to go, it will be actually a, get you know less activated as it flows through. Let's look at the thickness now. Imagine that you've got a horse pipe. You know that we all use horse pipe. So a thicker pipe has more space for water to flow through. So the stream of water that emerges from it is larger than the stream coming from a thinner pipe. You know? So same applies when we're talking about the conductor. The thicker the conductor, the more the space for current to flow through. And therefore, uh, the lower its resistance. Like as I was making an example with your cell phone charger and your kettle cord um, plug, you know? You would see the, the the thickness of these two uh, what to call of these two uh, conductors. The one of the kettle is bigger than that one of the charger. What does that supposed to mean? That means current that is going to your cell phone charging your battery is not much. Uh, we do not require much as we do require for the kettle to boil water. I also said. If you're looking at the, 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 the conductors that are used to actually, uh, the cords that are used for different things, you will see that we do not need enough, uh, the same amount of current to flow through. So remember that, number one, we said the thickness, oh, it's the thickness is the length and is the material, the material. Then we will now, have to look at the fourth one. We'll now have to look at the fourth one, grade nine. If we're looking at the fourth one, what are we talking about? We're talking about temperature. So now, when we are looking at the temperature, grade nine, what are we talking about? An electric resistance varies with temperature. So it varies with temperature. So it is not the same. The electrical resistance is not the same because the other ones are more affected by the 
temperature. Remember I said te temperature is telling us that energy is being used. So when you are touching the cord and then you feel that the cord is hot, it means electricity or the current are being used before they reach the destination where they're supposed to actually be utilized. So for most metals or mixtures of metals, the, the resistance increase if the metals are heated up. So the higher the heat, eh, that means it means uh, there's a higher resistance. When you hit the length of a wire or resistor, the particles inside it get more kinetic energy and move around. Then if they are moving around without flowing to the destination, that area will get more kinetic energy. Remember that I said once the, 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 the current starts flowing through the conductor, and then, uh, then the energy is changed from potential energy to kinetic energy. Then that means now your energy is being utilized. You are using energy. Once you start talking about kinetic energy, you are talking. Uh, you are saying energy is now being utilized. Any questions, Grade Nine, so far? Okay, there are no questions. Let's continue. So this additional movement of particles in, inside the wire makes it more difficult for charges that are released from the battery to get through the wire. It's what I was explaining that. So now if the, 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 the energy is used before getting to the destination, it will cause a fault. That's why we will have the main switch tripping now saying, no, the energy is being used at an incorrect place. That's why you, you, whenever there is a touch of uh, conductors, the insulator is worn out now, then e they touch. What happens is that the main switch will trip and that will be saying, I'm stopping this. Remember that a, a main switch works as the main resistor when it detects there's a, an unnecessary use of uh, particles or current, and then it will trip. So it, which is to say, okay, I'm resisting the charges from my thingy, from the, uh, from the cell to be used anymore else. So grade nines, let us look at data and analyzing. So when we're talking about data, those are facts or information taken from an investigation. So now, as I told you, when you are calculating, let's say you are calculating current, that will be the data that you will be using to actually analyze that, are we using the correct current for the light bulb? Are we using the correct current for what you call for for the TV and everything. Let me give you an example before we continue. You know that um, in South Africa, we've been facing uh, this load shading thing. So if there's a load shading, your parents will always advise you, switch off the TV from the plug so that it won't get damaged. So what happens is that once they lift up uh, the switch, from the load shading, uh, whoever, wherever our main switch for our substation is. So when they switch off, they switch on a resistor. Now say we are we are putting off you guys for four hours. When they are now releasing current, because current has been in the same place, not being utilized. Once they open, they switch off the, 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 the resistor, the current will flow so much that it is powerful. And when the current gets to its destination to be utilized by the TV or the fridge, it will be too much. And the TV will not be able to actually um, handle that uh, amount of what you call that amount of uh, electricity then uh, of or current if I may say, then that why that is the reason it will actually be damaged. So 
that's why I'm also advising you that once you say there's no electricity, you switch from the plug now because I've taught you about the flow of current through the conductors. What happens if the current has not been moving for some time? So now remember that the cell will say, won't say, I'm no longer releasing current now, but it will be released and there's a resistor that will be switched on. Remember when this, the resistor is on, that means that there, there, there won't be any flow of current to the destination, but it doesn't mean the potential difference will stop now product, uh, producing the current. Then once the resistor is switched off and then there's powerful movement of current, that's how our appliances get damaged. And then when you talk about analyzing data, it's what I was doing just now, I've been analyzing data. So when we talk about uh, the anal uh, how you to analyze data. We are talking about you looking carefully at data to find patterns and meaning. So now I've explained to you why do our appliances get damaged. So now we can actually say, oh, the TV needs only 15 volts for it to actually uh, function. Then when, uh, yes, someone raised their hand, Nosipo. Nosipo and Mate 20. Talk to me. Sorry, sir, it was a mistake. No, oh, no problem, no problem. Let me continue. Then um, I've been explaining to you that um, that when, let's say, the TV needs um, 15 volts to uh, function, and then at 10 o'clock the electricity is coming back, yes, then uh, when the current start flowing, it will flow in as like 25 volts. Then remember that we needed only 15 volts. Then that's why the destination, that's why the globes will burst. That's when the TV will no longer function because it experienced so much co uh, current than it needed. Uh, let us recap grade nine. Let us recap what we've been talking about. We said that resistance in a circuit is affected by the following the type of material the type of material let me write the the type of material not just the type but the type of material material used as a conductor used as a conductor and the thickness of that conductor the thickness of the conductor the thickness of the conductor will also affect the resistance. And then the temperature of the conductor, remember if the, if, the, if the conductor gets hot, it means the energy is moving in the same place and we don't want that because we want the current to be actually uh, used uh, in the final destination. And then the, also we use this, we spoke of the, what to call, we spoke of, uh, it's the type of material, thickness, temperature. Which one did I not count, count grade nines there? Remind me, they're supposed to be four. Which one? Material? The length. The length. Thank you very much. Everybody is in class today. That's what I wanted to do. The length of the conductor. Length of the conductor. So now you can see what you need to know. And you also can, uh, you can also now uh, explain how does uh, one of these uh, factors affect. You know when we're talking about the material, we well, you know when we're talking about the thickness, you know when you're talking about the temperature, and you also know when you're talking about the length. So we say the higher the resistance, the lower the current. So if we don't have much of uh, allowance for current to flow through, that means the, the resistance is very high. And then remember that copper, silver, and gold have less resistance than nichrome. And uh, we, we did this yesterday when we're talking about um, what you call when we're talking when we're talking about the way is the resistor placed in different household appliances then uh, we can also say that the longer the conductor the higher
the resistance as well because the current gets tired before <laughs> i don't know you know i'm using personification to the current now yes it gets tired or it gets less active before it gets to the destination break nine then we said the thicker the conductor the lower the resistance because now there's more movement of a flow uh, 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 of current if the current if the conductor is become and then we also said that uh, the hotter the conductor the higher the resistance we've said that again i want us to look at this homework break nine uh, write it down now write one weight for the following statements write one weight for the following statements a special electric component that controls the flow of electric uh, current in one direction. It is used to automatically switch the lights outside a house on or off as it gets darker. It is used to it is used to automatically switch the lights outside a house on or off as it gets darker or lighter. We've discussed that. Let me move on. We'll come back just now, grade nine. It is responsible for the functioning. Is this the, the homework that we did today, right? Yes, sir. It is, let me continue um, seeing something here. Okay, no. It is responsible for, it is responsible for function of traffic lights. Okay, let us start here. Here's our, our homework for today. So you need to explain the following terms, uh, resistance, diode, and rheostat. And okay, we'll focus on that once you're done writing that. Our homework is just the definitions, grade nine. Where are we? But I'll be with you. We did this homework today. Uh, I want you to do this homework. You define the following terms. Uh, you define resistance, diode, and rheostat. I want you to do that for me. And I also want you to tell me what what are resistors used for used for I'm are you there, grade nines? Let's continue part two of our homework. So I want you to state whether the following statements. Following statements are true or false. Number one, the higher the resistance, the lower the current. The higher the resistance, The lower, the lower the current. The number two, copper, silver, and gold have more resistance than 
my Chrome. See, the longer the conductor, the higher the resistance. The higher the resistance. D, the thicker what the conductor the thicker the conductor the higher the resistance so everybody know is happy with my homework so can you please go back for the homework sir okay i'm just gonna finish this last the last one the hotter the conductor the higher the resistance So number one, uh, for this part two of our homework, I want you to write whether the statement is true or false. Then after that, uh, the first part of our homework uh, is this other one there. You have to explain the following terms, resistance, diode, and Restart, and you also have to explain. You need to know what are resistors used for. So, this is the first part of our homework. Explain the following terms resistance, diode, and rheostat. And then you also answer this question what are resistors used for? Then we come here state whether the following statements are true or false. The higher the resistance, the lower the current. Copper, silver, and gold have more resistance than nichrome. The longer the conductor, the higher the resistance. The thicker the conductor, the higher the resistance. The hotter the conductor, the higher the resistance. That is your homework for today, grade nines. Any questions? Any questions, grade nine? Sir. Yes. Why um why does the voltage drop across a resistor if it is because a resistor like the amount of charge that flows through it depending on its resistance? Why does the voltage drop across a resistor? Remember that the voltage uh, the, the voltmeter is connected in series, right? and the okay. batteries are also connected in series so it detects the flow of energy so that means if it drops it is also dropping from the potential difference or the potential energy in the cell from the cell that's why it, it drops it, it throughout the cell yes. yes any more questions grade nines no more questions sir thank you so tomorrow, grade nines, I will be giving you uh, the scope uh, when we have to, because we all know that uh, the Department of Education has said that we are we need to go back to school. So what's going to happen is that uh, I will now start uh, incorporating term one and term two revision, and thereafter I can actually show you uh, how does uh, what does uh, the thingy the media exam look like are we clear on that one great times remember that you 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 supposed to write with uh your june exam in um, chemistry or biology the first part where you were talking about cell being a basic unit of life you're talking about the systems that you find in your body and the organ and then we also did um 
the chemistry part where we are talking about acids and bases and then we also spoke of the periodic table there you will need to do revision of that so um i will tell you how are we going to work that one out grade nine tomorrow for now have a great day i'll see you tomorrow bye everybody thank you for coming bye sir. bye Enjoy the lessons. Bye. 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 Bye.